And there is a push to invest more in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. President Joe Biden is ordering 20 million treatment courses of Pfizer's antiviral pill. The president is also urging people to get vaccinated and boosted as the U.S. deals with a record number of cases. CBS 4's Wendy Gillette has the latest. Folks. President Biden announced the government is doubling its purchase of Pfizer's COVID-19 treatment pill as the Omicron variant drives an unprecedented surge in cases. These pills are going to dramatically decrease, or decrease hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19. They're a game changer. In Connecticut, the National Guard helped local officials with shipments of home testing kits amid continued high demand for PCR and rapid tests around the country. Maryland's governor declared a 30-day state of emergency. The next four to six weeks will be the most challenging time of the entire pandemic. President Biden says the government is adding more testing sites around the country. And starting next week, insurance carriers will begin reimbursing for at-home tests. The CDC is now recommending booster shots of the Pfizer vaccine five months after the second dose instead of six months. And immunocompromised children as young as five can receive the additional shot. Rising cases are a challenge for schools, and some in Texas are considering outdoor lunch. I know the district's taking a look at that practice to see what can be done. The Los Angeles School District is requiring all students and staff to show proof of a negative test before returning to class next week. So many people we know have gotten it recently. With pediatric hospitalizations in the U.S. at an all-time high, other cities are switching to remote learning that could last several weeks. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. And CDC advisors are meeting tomorrow to consider recommending booster shots for children from ages 12 to 15.